welcome back to the channel folks welcome back to the channel today we're doing something a little different we've got a vendor that we want to kind of profile and talk to you guys about he's going to be at the event on a regular basis this is one of the rides he will have with him what's up dude who are you my name is jason ground i'm uh, the owner and ceo of legacy specialty vehicle services okay so what what is legacy what does legacy do just a quick you know fire off the top of your head what is it that you would like to do with legacy legacy we specialize in customer collector car appraisals and uh, pre-purchase inspections. Okay. All right. So that so so you're the kind of person that a lot of people need to kind of run into. There's a lot of folks out there that want to buy a classic car and they have no no knowledge about it. They just want an old Mustang, right? Or they want an old Camaro. Or so you're the kind of guy that folks are going to want to call to kind of help them. You know, maybe walk them through the process, right? Exactly. Well, let's 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 use that theory here a little bit on this. Now, talk to me about what this is right here. Uh, that you know, clearly this is your car, and you know a lot about it. But as a as a general theory, you know a lot about all of these cars. That's why you're you know a certified appraiser. So, tell us what we're looking at here. And as you as you talk, I'm going to walk and right. film. So don't worry about trying to get in the shot. What we're looking for, we're looking at here is a 1976 Cutlass 442. This is an original 442, but it has been modified. It's not doesn't have original paint. Got a Lexus Silver, a 2010 Corvette Maroon, also known as uh, Volcanic Red Tent Coat. Man, it is beautiful. Like it's we're we're out here in what is referenced as the golden hour. So we've got this perfect lighting and this paint is popping. Talk to us a little bit about this the the actual paint job that's on it. You you were mentioning earlier like these. First of all, these are not decals, folks. These this is no. this all is the, paint. The stripes and everything. Are Stripes are buried in the clear. You can't feel them. They're, they're just, it's laser straight and very smooth. They say y'all got weak lungs. Uh, the, Lexus, or the Lexus silver there, it has a very high metallic or metal plate content. The maroon or the fire, uh, the fire thorn red tent coat, it, it's a three-stage paint. Therefore, you can't really see it out here. But in the sunlight, it will change colors. It will go from a real bright red to a real dark maroon. It's beautiful, man. The, the paint job all, all together is great out here. I love, I love the look of it. I'm how it turned out. So this is a car you built yourself, and yes. it's one of the. And you, how, how long have you owned it now? I've owned this car for 15 years. 15 years. So this is a part of your family, bro. Yes. <laughs> now, what's been done to suspension and motor suspension and stuff like that? My trailing arms in the rear. It's got QA1 coilovers on all four corners. It's got Wilwood front disc brakes. This thing handles as good as it looks. That's awesome. The stance on it, folks. If you, you know, you can kind of tell it's got a little bit of rake, but man, it's got a really, really good stance. I love the, I love the look of these old 442s. And now, as a theory, like this is, this is your car, so you know a lot about it. Uh, but as, as folks, you get to plug in with this guy, whether you're at the event or you reach out to him if you're on the hunt. He definitely is highly knowledgeable on. A lot of different cars, yes. uh, not just the, this well, generation of cars, I've right? Been, I have been dealing with cars since I was about 12 years old. I started working on my brother's Chevelle when I was 12 years old, and it just kind of got me hooked. Before that, it was all Hot Wheels and model cars. But after that, I bought my first car when I was 14. It was a 74 Camaro, and I've just been working on them ever since. I restored my first car at the age of 18. It was a 74 Dodge Challenger. I got rid of it when I joined the army, and that's one I regret. We all have one. Regret, <laughs> that's the one. The one. I regret getting rid of. Well, and that's another thing to mention, folks. That, you know, veteran-owned and operated is, is, is. I know people are coining it a lot, but it definitely matters. You want to support folks that took care of us for so many years. We really appreciate your service. I got to show the interior on this thing before we uh, we we cut away. But it looks. I mean, it looks brand new to 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 the time period. And those seats look really comfortable, <laughs> really amazing. There's actually, uh, one nifty little thing with these seats that you may want to see. Jeez. No way! And that is factory. <laughs> that is a factory option. That's so cool. I was just looking at that black handle, and I was like, "What's that for?" That is so cool. I love how the seats turn. What a cool thing. Well, folks, if you have any interest in uh and get help getting someone to help you through the process of owning your dream car and you know maybe setting yourself up for another 15 years of trying to uh take care and 
carry on the tradition of a really cool car. Uh, this is the guy that we recommend you, you utilize. Uh, his info has been on the screen through the whole video. Give him a call, go to his Facebook and follow him for us. Uh, you're, just, you're, you're just getting this going, right? Yes. Though you've been yes, a car legacy guy and you've been, been certified for a while, like you're just getting going? Yes, Legacy has been open for business now for about two months. We've already completed a number of appraisals and so far our customers have been pretty happy. Awesome, awesome. Well, folks, hit this man up, utilize him. He's definitely one of the other folks we got in our network. So I'm going to, before this guy blows us out with his audio, though, I do like, that does sound good. <laughs> Even if you're not a Mopar guy, that does sound good. Uh, thank you for plugging in with us today. Again, info's on the screen and the, des and the description for these guys. Uh, my name is Ben Barber. This man is what, Jason Drone. Jason Drown. Drown. Yeah. I'm. D R O W N. I just. Like you can't swim. <laughs> like you can't swim. Well, that truck is probably blowing us out. But, anyways, folks, thank you for tuning in. We appreciate it. We will see you guys in the next video. Yeah.